Welcome back. So now we have the roles available and uh, let's actually start using them. Now, first thing we need to change is actually here, I put an ID by mistake. So I wrote this ID, right? That's wrong because if we look at the database right now, we have a key with a name admin. Okay, so the role is actually, the ID is actually a key instead of an ID. So I'll call this key instead of ID and then I actually have the role available. That's very important. The other thing that I want to mention is I actually added inside the one we talked about last lesson as well. I added the user.role equals new role as well. So now we have a role available so we don't get undefined there either. Those two things are now things are now covered. The next thing I did is I went into the HTML file and found a selector. Now where did I get how to make a selector? Well, I went into Angular Material, I found their selector example and I pulled that out. Very simple. Um, so now I have a selector looking something like this. Now I can actually go and select different uh, roles here for my new user. Okay, And it pops up below. That's just something I wrote so I could see it changes actually every time I change here, it changes the unique ID. So I have different roles to pick from. How did I do that? Well, let's start off with the selector because that's fairly quick. Uh, I have a placeholder that's role. If nothing is selected, that'll be shown. But in my case, something will always be selected so I could actually remove it. I have the ng model pointing to the user's role. That makes sense. That's the user's role. So if I go into the user here, he has a role. That's what I want to save in. Okay. What else do we have? Going back to my HTML page. The name role is actually what you see here. That's shown as text up here. Okay. Uh, and then we have an MD4 uh, for each option. Let me just zoom one step here. There we go. Then we have an ng4 for each option available. Uh, so what we're doing is we're saying inside roles, Give me each role. And notice, I don't use the async anymore. I'll explain to you why in a second. But there's no async here anymore. And then I have the actual startup value that should be role. And then I say, for each option, just show the name of the role, meaning that this is actually presenting not only the options when I click this, but it's also default selecting. If I just restart this, it'll default select the role that I have selected on the user, actually. OK. How do I do that? Well, first of all, like I said, I removed the async part here because now I'm actually using the observable directly inside my create component. So I'm pretty much just saying this roles and now I'm subscribing, getting the roles back and then setting it on the roles. This was an observable fern before now it's actually a real role array. That's all I changed here. And then I say if there's actually a role available inside the list, there should be, then set the user's role to the first one just to have a default selected role inside my system. Okay, I want to add one more thing because I keep forgetting to tell you guys to actually unsubscribe. So let's do it this time. So I'll make just a sub equal subscription here, meaning that I just subscribe to this um, get roles here. I want to unsubscribe when I'm done. So I'll make a undestroy here inside my implement here. Undestroy because we also need to be able to destroy actually the sub when it's when we're done. Remember, this is actually a hook. To memory so the garbage collector or we cannot remove this from the memory until that we actually unsubscribe so that's very important so I'll do um, ng on destroy like this to actually say when the component is destroyed find the sub and unsubscribe from it it's that simple that's all you have to do but it's something that's very important to do it's crucial to remember and I forgot it a few places in my code I'm going to run over that later and just make a bug fix round for that but the problem is if you don't do it, you'll get more and more memory spent inside your application at some point, it'll just explode. So that's all for this lesson. Now you can actually show the roles. If you go in here, you can actually do a click here and you can select the roles. Now where is this coming from? Let's just remove it. It's actually just showing the selected role right now. Right here, I'm saying user role key. I have one more thing I want to tell you because the MD select, I found a few bugs in it and it seems that they didn't put in enough margin or something when you put it inside a, a container like we did here. So what I did is I went to the style CSS and I add these two styles. You can just have a look at them yourself. They're not complex. I'm just saying for the actual text inside the selected um, selector right now, I just put the font down to 14 like the rest of the components. And the other one I say, give us a margin at the top, give us a margin at the bottom, just for the entire component. That's all. So that's it for this lesson. See you next time. We'll try and actually store this data because if you if you save the use now, you'll destroy your database. Or not the database, but you can unload the data again. So wait, don't save yet. Let's just fix the last issues and then we can save. See you next time.